friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we're going to talk about how to separate snake plant pups from their mamas. So as you can see I've got a snake plant right here and I've had this for quite a while now and in the time I've had it it's got two pups. So one on this side and one right over here. And the big one, the one that came first, is probably seven inches. What is that in centimeters? What is seven inches in centimeters? The answer is 17.78 centimeters. The big one here is about seven inches or 18 centimeters or so. And there's a small one here, which is about four inches above the soil or 10 or so centimeters. Oh my god, it's so hot, I'm sweating, I need to open a window. Sorry, it is so hot in here that I am sweating. It's like 33 degrees today in London, which is hot, hot, hot. And I decided to wear all black because I am a smart cookie. So I've got windows open now. Hopefully it doesn't mean that there's too much outside noise, but I'm sorry, my Comfort is more important than your audio quality. Just kidding, um, I treat them both equally. That's why I'm sitting here sweating. There are a couple reasons why you might wanna separate the pups from the mama. One of them is that the pot is getting too crowded. This isn't the case in my situation. I do have quite a lot more room in the pot, but I want to separate them because I want two new plants, right? Basically, I get two new plants out of this and so I'm gonna take them off. And ideally, you wanna wait to take them off until they're probably about four inches or 10 centimeters or bigger. Otherwise, they might not have developed fully enough and they might not actually last. So you don't wanna take them out too early. I heard some people have had success taking them out earlier, but I don't wanna risk it. So I'm going to take them out now when they're big enough. Oh, it's a massive bug. Oh my god. Is that a wasp? Oh my god, it's huge. Oh my god, this terrifies me. There's a wasp in my house. I just don't want it. Just really don't want it in my house. I'm just gonna keep filming and hopefully it ignores me because I'm gonna ignore it. So before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and comment on other plant related things you'd like me to talk about next and subscribe for more. Right, let's get into it. So you need some supplies in order to do this whole process. First off, obviously you need the snake plant that you wanna take the babies off of. You need a clean, sharp knife. I'm just using a kitchen knife. You need a hard surface. So I'm using this chopping board. You need new pots for the babies to go into. I personally use a bucket because I don't have any outside space. So I use a bucket in order to keep everything clean, do all my soil in there, and it makes things easier. You need soil. So here I've got my bin of soil mixture. It is the typical 60% cocoa coir, 20% perlite, 20% worm castings. I'm going to add a little bit of extra perlite to this just because it's a succulent plant and it probably needs a bit more drainage than average. And you need water once you have potted up your plants. First off, you want to unpot the plant and in order to do that, you just pull out the pot. As I kind of suspected, I actually have two plants. So I figured that these two mamas were separate. That means that these two babies are separate as well. It also looks like there is gonna be a new baby coming out from there pretty soon. And maybe one there as well. So maybe I'll have more to do in the future. You want to brush away as much of the dirt and soil as possible, exposing the rhizomes, which are the connections between the different plants because the rhizomes are where you're gonna cut. So there aren't really roots on this one. There's only this tiny little guy, so I'm not going to be repotting this one. I am only gonna be repotting the bigger one. 
which is fine. I'll just leave this one in here for now. So you want to lay your plant down with the exposed roots onto the hard surface and with the clean knife you want to cut the middle of the rhizome trying to keep as much of the roots intact. You don't want to kill the roots if at all possible because you want it to continue living and you want your babies to be successful plants on their own so it's better to just not kill them. I am going to be putting the mama back in with the other mama and baby and I am going to put this one in its own pot here and I've picked this pot because it's quite small and they do like to be a bit root bound. I'm going to mix the soil that came with the old plant with some of my own soil. So I'm going to add a little bit more into here. Mix that all up together. So it's a slightly healthier mix. Give it a little bit more nutrients. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more perlite as well. Just so it drains a bit better. Going to fill this one up most of the way and leave a little hole in the middle for it to go into and then plant that straight in there and then fill in around it trying to make sure it is centered and then I'm going to put these back as well in business leaving this baby on just because it wasn't ready then you want to give them a good watering getting water everywhere but that's okay easy peasy lemon squeezy all right so there we go now we have a new house plant so I did decide not to cut this one off yet because it was a little bit too small. It didn't have any roots coming off of it and so I was a bit scared that it wouldn't be successful after this and I don't really want to kill any plants if at all possible. So I just left it for now. I'll let it grow a bit bigger, gather some more roots and we'll cut it off in a future video. But I do have this one. I'm super excited about it. I hope it does well, might give it away as a gift, might keep it for myself, you never know, we'll find out, but really excited about it, super happy with how it turned out, really easy process, I would totally suggest all of you to try this at home, it was really simple, probably one of the easier ways to propagate, and you don't really have to wait that long because it's pretty instant, you have a new plant right now, you don't have to wait weeks for them to root in water or whatever so yeah I'm really happy with it happy sensor area day so thank you so much for watching this video if you found it helpful please give me a thumbs up down below and comment on other houseplant things you'd like me to talk about next time and subscribe for more if you'd like to stay updated on how this bad boy is doing head over to my Instagram it's at good growing and I'll post update pictures about it stories post once a day, go have a look, sometimes it's interesting, I have a good time, and I love to show off my plants. So head over there if you want to see more often updates about my plants and their lives. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, Cute. Dripping everywhere. I've made a mess. Look at this. Look at that. Drip, drip, drip. That's all you do. That's all you do.